Hi everyone, uh, Dr. Carol Polio here again, and I wanted to talk to you today about what it would be like to have a reading with me, because I know a lot of people, especially that follow intuitive investigations, have never had a reading with me, and so you may wonder what that would be like. So I thought that's what I would talk about today. Um, first of all, I've been doing readings for a really long time. I started out almost 40 years ago uh, learning tarot, and that's primarily what I use to give readings for myself and friends for almost 40 years. Um, in the last few years, though, I found something I like better than tarot, not to say anything negative about tarot cards, but I found something I really like better and I think is really more helpful um, for people in giving them a reading, and that would be oracle cards. Now, I use oracle cards, again, because I find them to be more helpful. I think they give you a lot better action items, things to work on, you know, ways to make things happen versus the predictive nature of tarot, where it might predict something for you and then you then kind of step back and say, well, that's what's going to happen. Oracle cards empower you more, and I feel like when you have a reading with me, you feel like you went to a life coach. You feel like you went to somebody who gave you insights into what's going on in the situation for yourself and what you could do about it. Um, I have spent quite a bit of time getting certified in uh, giving readings. I'm a professional intuitive certified. I am a certified oracle guide by Colette Baron Reed, and I use her deck, the um, Wisdom of the Oracle deck, as my primary reading tool. And um, I'm a certified apprentice tarot reader and uh, professional, I've had professional development courses for my abilities. So one thing about a reading is that I use oracle cards and I always start each reading with my spiel <laughs> about how oracle cards work for me and how I get information about them uh, through them and through from spirit through them. And so that's how I start out. And oracle cards, for me, I am a very hardwired, left brain logical person. That's why it was always difficult for me, and I struggled with uh, my gift that I became aware of as a teenager, because that wasn't logical, and I didn't know where those voices were coming from, and visions, and what is that that's happening to me. So what the oracle cards do for me is they allow my left brain to be focused on the card, the meaning, you know, kind of all the left brain logical stuff that's going on. And honestly, that helps me because that allows the right side, what I call my right side creative a connection to spirit side to open up and receive information. So when I give a reading, it's a combination of the cards, and their meanings, and of course cards are chosen by spirit. When I give a reading, I don't choose the cards. You don't choose to choose the cards. What happens is, as I shuffle, cards come up or stick out or fall out. And so I actually don't choose the cards in a traditional way. I do it that way so that spirit chooses the cards. And then in reading the cards, opens me up to get more messages, more insights. Um, sometimes they are predictive, but I don't promise that I'm going to be able to tell you how things are going to work out. And that's because spirit doesn't always tell us how things are going to work out. Spirit often wants us to learn something or to make choices and live our lives in a more empowered way. So we don't always get great insights. Um, into exactly what's going to happen. So that's what I like about this um, using these cards is that you get some really good information and it helps guide you. 
to make a decision, to take an action, to maybe do some inner work you need to do to be in the right place to move forward. It really depends on your situation. So that's kind of how I do that. And then, you know, I will uh, choose a card as I'm shuffling. As I said, I don't choose it. It kind of pops up. And, you know, here's an example of a card that just popped up. Okay, so this is the Breathe card. All right, you can see they're beautiful cards. Um, so this came out as if, say, it's today's card. Um, it did come up in a reverse position. Um, in this deck, um, the Wisdom of the Oracle, um, they're not called reverse cards. They're called protection cards. And what that means is it's a message from spirit to you about the situation to protect you. Um, not a negative, necessarily a negative, um, like in tarot, often when it's a reversed card, it's very negative. In this case, it's kind of either a warning or a suggestion or something to keep an eye out for. So breathe is, is a pretty obvious meaning in breathe. It's just, you know, things are okay, let it go, just take a deep breath sort of thing and when it's reversed like that it often means you know maybe that's what you need so maybe you just need to take a breath you need to step back you need to get in touch with nature or meditate or whatever it is that you do to kind of clear your uh, mind and you know calm down so that's what it's telling you when it's in protection or reversed so that gives you an idea of it um, I typically start out with several cards, two or three cards, to characterize what it is that you're interested in knowing about. And then if spirit wants more and doesn't give me kind of a where is this headed card, um, I pull more. It depends on the situation. Um, so And sometimes, I, like I said earlier, I don't get that last card. Spirit just keeps giving advice. Here's more advice. Here's more advice. And that's, that's how it works. Um, I'm guided by spirit. Um, another thing that may happen in this reading, which again is really like life coaching, honestly, is that um, the mediumship aspect may occur. So when I'm giving a reading, sometimes if some um, passed over, crossed over relative or friend comes in, then I will talk about that particular person if I see them. And it does happen pretty frequently, but it, I don't guarantee that it happens because sometimes, again, spirit wants you to know about maybe the issue you came in about and wants you to focus on that. So they come in when they need to or if it's important to them to communicate something to you, but it isn't a primary focus of a reading with me. So hopefully I've answered your questions or thoughts about what would it be um, to do a reading with me. Um, I will say I, I'm also a certified life coach. So you get kind of the whole package when you do a reading with me. Um, and I, I appreciate everyone hanging in there and listening to the video to the end. Um, but I just thought it was something that I would take time today to answer for you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.